Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Ex Anima and our death. So, I still have yet to defeat a single enemy down here because they're. Well, they're on a level altogether superior to and different from that of all the zombies from the regular dungeon levels. And I was lulled into a state of complacency, a false sense of security, and a false sense of superiority when it came to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, or, well, you know, melee combat. So, basically my plan is to add a lot more... Oh, that sounds wonderful. I'm not opening that door right now. But, um, yeah, to focus more on movement, always kind of staying out of reach of the enemy, circling, you know, this kind of action, that's what I would like to do. Now, I hear noises coming from beyond the door. I know that huge beast is out there somewhere. I'm hoping that the beast will leave if I just give it a couple more seconds. But this is probably just wishful thinking. Alright. Don't see anyone yet. Now I do. I see a skeleton up there. And we're just gonna walk casually by. Nope, they'll see, he'll see me. Shit. He's getting me with those feints pretty often. Oh, just slips right past my guard as always. Ah, uh, I just don't understand it. Ladies and gentlemen, I just, I do not understand it. Alright, so let's try it one more time. I don't, I really can't get my mind around what the real difference is here between them and that. A, they're faster, they move faster, they attack faster, they're more aggressive, it's just everything. And for some reason, I just, I cannot, I just cannot stay alive. And they always, they're always, like, my, my blocks are pointless at a certain point in time. They start... I mean, they get attacked straight past my parry, like, over and over, and I don't... I guess my only solution is to be out of range and to not be trying to parry because the parries are not going to work. Alright, so we hear some beast growling again. But I don't see him. And of course, this wouldn't be so devastating if there was more than one health potion in the entire game. I'm just saying. If there was more than just one single health potion to, to be found, <laughs> just the only one I've ever found was just that one single one earlier, then yeah, I think I would stand a better chance. I should, uh, I should close that door behind me so I don't get rushed from behind. Kind of want to do the same thing. Of course, I am incapable of closing doors in a quiet manner. <laughs> All right, I think we've been in here before. There's no loot, unfortunately. So let us attempt to move on. What 
do we have here? This looks important. Council chamber, perhaps? Or a courtroom, maybe? Or, I don't know, a shrine? A, you know, a church? Uh, no, it doesn't look like that. Let me get the torch going. Just don't want to overlook anything. What's hanging up here? Is this anything? No, it's not. Right. Nothing over here. Nothing in this alcove. Nothing. Right. How about this direction? Oh, this was okay. I remember going in here as well. Some kind of like storage room or library, perhaps. Something like that. Is that a box of some sort? What is that? No, it's not. Okay. Alright, so heading back out here for the time being. What do we have here? I hear something like snorting or something. So let's see if we can go this way. Wow, what the hell is this? So something obviously tore this damn gate down. It was probably that huge beast. Holy shit. I think that beast is up here. No, he's behind me. He's chasing after some skeletons. Run, 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 run. Alright, please tell me I can find something useful in here before they get in here and kill me. I don't think so. It's a bunch of damn cups and empty vases and so forth. Yeah, I don't see anything I can use. Damn it. Alright, now what the hell is this? Whoops. God, it's so damn dark. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's learn how to walk through a door. Okay, now what is this? I hear some sort of round table. Uh, very, very... It's actually a very cool looking table. Obviously very reminiscent of... Oh, let me go ahead and just trash the place. Very reminiscent of King Arthur's Court. Interesting. Go over here. That is locked. Stay open, please. And then what is this? You know, it's a shame that on this run I'm lucky enough to kind of not run into anyone so I can explore, but I can't find anything to help me. Every cabinet is empty. Nothing on tables. Ooh, what is that? Heavy padded coat's probably better than the one I got on, isn't it? Uh, I don't even think I had a coat on. Because nothing dropped into my inventory. Ah, eh, alright. Okay, so I take back what I said. I did find something useful. Now, please be something cool in here. Oh, hell yes! Plate armor all frickin' day. So we don't need the shoulder stuff. We don't need that. Don't need van braces. We can drop a bunch of that stuff. What the hell is that? That armor is awesome. That is awesome as shit. I wonder if I'll still have that armor when I respawn from now on, because if so, that was huge what just happened. That was a game changer. However, if I respawn without it, it makes no difference whatsoever, <laughs> obviously. Nice and easy. No idea where I am. Uh, 
Oh, there's that trashed gate. Oh, hell. There's that huge beast. He's fighting a skeleton. Question is, can I sneak past? No, I can't, but I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run, and then this door's not gonna open. No, it's not. I don't know why. The beast seems to not have seen me, which of course was the point. What is with this door? It doesn't make a locked sound. I can't open it, can't double click it. Don't understand. That's alright. Let's run the hell out of here. Oh, of course I ran right to him. That would happen. Oh lord, come on. I gotta be able to lose him. Or not. I'm just running to random... Oh, of course, that's the bathroom. Shut the door! Ugh! Oh. Well, we know from previous experience that he will eventually walk away if I just kind of chill here for a bit. So you damn right that's what I'm going to do. Oh my god, he's right outside the door growling. Make sure there's no, like... I don't know what would be in the latrine, but... Alright, so again we want to give that beast some time to wander off. Because I am certainly not ready to go after him. So, we'll go ahead and end this episode right here. I don't know how we're still alive, but I think we're making progress because we got the full plate. So, thank you as always. Please like and subscribe. And we'll be back soon with some more Exanima.